In this world that we live in today, I believe we can all find agreement that the call for oneness, the call for oneness is as profound as it has ever been. The world is as divided as it has ever been. And so the work that we are doing is essential. It is necessary. And I would like to invite a man, uh, Harold Edwards, uh, the minute he came into my office, I think the first meeting we had was in my office. <laughs> I knew a place of oneness. I knew I had a brother uh, equally as, as beautiful as my friend Kiraj. He's going to be uh, a co-host for the evening, and I asked him to share a few words and to tell a little bit about what's going to be happening over the weekend. Will you please welcome Harold Edwards? Thank you. Thank you. Friends, this is a very special time for me as a Baha'i. Ever since Iraj has been coming here, he always came to the center on Sunday and kept inviting me here. But I never had the chance to come here because I was at the center every Sunday. So once I retired from that, he invited me here again. So I'm here and I'm a part of the committee and we're doing great things. It is just so special to see that we, as a global society, have a chance to do something different. Something that God always wanted us to do to worship together as one. One God, there's only always been one religion. No matter how much we've divided it, it always was one. It will be one again once we get through all the things we're going through. I saw something very special today, and this is not political. I was watching the, uh, the program, and they had, they were, the Republicans and Democrats, they were having a hard time agreeing on what was happening between uh, the candidate for the judge and the lady who had these accusations. And it was just so, it was so painful for everybody to see something like that. One person decided this is not right. That one person changed everything, everything. Now there's a different moment happening as a result of one person saying, this is not right, and I don't feel right about it, and it changed things, just for a moment. We all have that power to change. It used to be that we had to be followers. Someone told us how it's supposed to go. But in this time we're living in, this global society, we believe as Baha'is, God has changed the power from the leaders and given it to the people, the people who are followers. We have to learn how to exercise that energy and that power that we've been given and change this world we're living in. This global society can never go back to the way it used to be. We are one, we are one, we're one. We're one in God. We're one in religion. And we've got to learn how to make that happen for our reality, for the salvation of this world. And I'm just ecstatic that as Iraj and Richard have found a way to do something like this, to bring two diverse religions together. And let's talk about our commonalities. Let's talk about building relationships. And let's see what we can do with that. Let's respect each other. Let's share each other's writings with each other and look for those commonalities and not allow the differences to repel us. That's what this weekend is all about. Finding those commonalities, looking for ways to make it happen. That's what we're here for. We all believe in one God. That God is not in, con he's not in contradiction with himself, with his religion. He wants us to find a way to work it out. He's given us freedom of choice to make it happen. It belongs to us. Freedom of choice. He wants us to do his will. He wants us to do it by choosing to do it. He's given us all of the ways and the hows to do it. He's always delivered his word. The Ten Commandments, thou should not lie, still kill. Jesus, love one another as I have loved you also. He's given us the tools and the skills to make it happen. Baha'i the believe Baha'u'llah is just another latest in the, in the prophet founders to give us another way to do this, to take it to the next level of this global society. And that's what this weekend is about. I'll share with you. It's just going to be a super weekend.
There will be children classes all day Saturday. So if you want to bring your children, please feel free to do that so they can be a part of this as well. These are just some of the things that we'll be doing for the weekend, and we're hoping that you will stay and be a part of this. And let's look at a, this possibility of moving things forward and building on this, and you'll be surprised what happens around the globe. When we start doing something, other people start doing something, and it just happens as a result of that. So thank you all for coming out, and please come out tomorrow and Sunday and be with us. Thank you. Thank you. Those that would say affectionately that in the Union Church, that was great. I know we don't appreciate you, you don't appreciate mine, but that will be like a ripple of the words. Words, like a pebble, go on to the lake. And the ripples of the energy of what we create together will have far reaching uh, capabilities. Thank you. That people's lives will be touched and transformed as a result of not only your words, but all the words that are shared. Yeah. I'd like to affectionately say tonight is the introduction, tomorrow will be the education, and then Sunday will be the inspiration. Unity is all about action. And Sunday may be a little bit about how we take the words into the world, that we often say that if the work we do here stays here, it's been a waste of time. But if the work we have done here is out these doors and these windows, and we're kinder, more gentle, more compassionate, it's been the most valuable weekend time you could have spent. Tonight we have three uh, video presentations.